Hello guys. I just want to say real quick that Riot School, I don't know, I, I hope you are, I pronounce your name right, but uh, this is how I sound like, you know, sound like Hulk. <laughs> but uh, if you guys have been following me for the last three, three and a half weeks, I have been doing the Small of Junior Bench program. And um, the reason why I did it was because for a long time I had my bench press progress plateaued. Uh, or kind of made like minimal progress so I thought well why not try the smallest junior bench program right um, the, when I first saw it right I, it, it was like I felt like <coughs> excuse me um, I felt like wow this program really looks really tough because you're doing a, really a lot of volume and you know, like the progress seemed like really tough, but um, so what I'm gonna do now is pretty much I'm just gonna explain um, the program, uh, how how it's like built and the whole structure of the program, right? So in small junior, uh, I I just made some notes. I'm just gonna go through. Them. So basically, in this uh, small junior bench program. You will be benching four times a week, and um, you will, for example, on day one, you will be doing a six by six at seventy percent of your one rep max, and then um, day two, you will do seventy five percent of your one rep max for a seven by five, and then uh, on day three, you would do a eight by four at eighty percent of your one rep max, and then the last day, the fourth day, you will do um a 10 by 3 at 85 percent of your one rep max so how the progress or the progressive overload thing works uh on the smallest junior bench program is that you basically keep the sets the same and the reps the same the only thing that changes is the weight and so every week you will try and increase the weight by two two and a half two and a half to five kilograms each week. So when I first f heard that, I said, shit, shit, man, how how do I make this progress, right? But then I also thought, well, you do so much volume, so you should pretty much be able to do it, right? So now I will then go over the different PRs that I made. And um, so the first week, and the fourth day, on, uh, which was a Sunday, I did a, a, a volume PR, um, which was the, the 10 by 3 at 80% of your one rep max, which was uh, 80 kilograms. And then the next week, uh, um, on the same day, I did uh, also the, you know, the 10 by 3 at 82 and a half kilograms. And then uh, the next week, same day, um i did 85 kilograms for a 10 by 3 so that was three volume pairs in to to total i did a uh, four uh, pairs which uh, and the last pair was of course the one with max attempt which i have posted pretty much for like half an hour ago and there i did 95 kilograms paused uh which was a five kilogram increase from what what the most I've done which was 90 ki ki kilograms and um, the most I, ha I had done before was 95 kg but that was touch and go right this time I paused it for like uh, one second and you know pause pause bench press is like it is it is in in theory it is harder than touch and go um so I also want to go over like general food and sleep because in these three weeks uh, of the program my sleep really wasn't the best and I don't know why I, I'm pretty much a night owl. I'm, I'm generally bad at going to sleep and just sleeping enough but um, we, we're speaking about like six and a half to like at most seven hours a night. It, it's, it's still a fine amount of sleep but it's not like you know you're eight hours of sleep 
and then food. Um, in that period, I also didn't eat the amount of food that I wanted to. I definitely ate enough to, you know, recover and all that, but it wasn't enough for me to like, you know, keep gaining weight because right now, right now I am on a lean bulk or like a small caloric surplus. Um, so yeah, that was the variables. And I also just want to say, uh, other than the PRs that, 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 that the progress uh, that I made on, on the program, I also felt that in general, my technique and just my overall, how can I say, like uh, my efficiency on the bench press got better. I really felt, felt, felt like, you know, like uh, the neuromuscular pathways for the bench press just got a lot better. And like my sticking points, I was just sometimes able to just like smoothly just push through them sometimes so yeah um and then i also am going to make a big announcement right now because i have thought about this for a long time um and it is that i will probably go and switch a little bit more to like a bodybuilding type uh, training uh, regime right now because I think um, I think the reason why my bench program uh, or my bench press in general has plateaued for such a long time is that I simply just need to build more upper body mass uh, I think because yeah I think that would benefit me because in general I I, I am like around 186 centimeters tall to 187 centimeters tall and i weigh like in the morning like 80 kilograms so i'm like tall and like lanky type of build so and like a lot of my where i have like the most muscle is like my legs and like my lower body and like my lumbar spine so 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 just in general i just think it would just both have helped my bench press strength, strength and my leverages on the bench press if I just gain more muscle on the chest and shoulders and upper back and I will of course try to just also you know get stronger in the legs and you know everywhere, everywhere else of course I'm just will still try to progress on um, but my main focus will be like shoulders chest upper back so I'm gonna be going more into like a hypertrophy based type of training. Uh, and the reason why really it's just one, because I wanna try something different um, than powerlifting. And it's not because I'm, when I trained my powerlifting, I still did my bodybuilding accessories, you know, like high reps and such. But I wanna, for example, you know, instead of the bench press, I'm gonna do incline bench press and dumbbell press and instead of the squat, then I'm gonna do hex squat and deadlift. It is gonna be like back extensions, and then of course all the other accessories. Of course, like lat pull downs, rows, etc. You know, it's shoulder press and all that. So, and that's the reason. Uh, that that's the one reason why is because I want to try something new. And the second reason is because, in general, I think that just building more mass right now will only help my power power lifting. Uh, potential right because you know when you have more mass you have more potential to build more strength because you have more mass and just in general mass move mass right so i will get bigger i will get stronger but in the future i will also be able to build a lot more strength because i will be building more mass right so in general did the program work yes it definitely did and if i i think it if I sleep better and ate more food, I will probably have been able to put on seven and a half to 10 kilograms um, on my bench press while running this program. So yeah, thank you guys for watching um, and I will see you in the next video.